Yo, 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 what's happening, people? This is Baby and Frank reporting live, and today we're back again with another episode. Today we're going to cover the same topic from the same from the past episode, which is the Elite Wave Theory. So, today we're going to cover the basic wave patterns. So, let's get into it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Tell your friends with all their friends to go check out Baby and Frank for the, you know, what's happening. So, what are basic wave patterns? The basic five pattern structure in a rising market or uptrend consists of three upward movements that are in intermediate by two downward two downward movements termed impulsive or emotive. So as you can see the three blue arrows going up, those are the motives. Or oh, yes, those are the motives and then the two red arrows going down, those are the correctives. So this Corrective and motive, corrective and motive. This, by the time you guys, uh, we cover this topic, you got to be familiar with all the patterns. So, then followed by the basic three wave structure consisting of two downward movement that are intermediated by one upward movement termed corrective. As you can see, people. So, in this case, from the, from the head up there, there was a motive. Then from A to B, it was a corrective. From B to C, it was a motive. So in this case, market reversed. And we can see, you know, head and shoulders is a reversal pattern. And we can see, if you're familiar with drawing the neckline, you can see most definitely broke the neckline. So you can see, guys, this is the corrective part, whereby the AB is the corrective part. Then the BC is the motive. The basic five wave structure in a falling market or downtrend consists of three downward movements that are intermediated by two up, upward movements termed impulsive or motive. Same thing here, but vice versa. In this case, we're looking at a downtrend. So the three red arrows are motives and the two blue arrows are the correctives. So it is motive and corrective, motive and corrective. So you guys are now familiar with this. Then, then let's see. Then followed by the basic three wave structure consisting of two upward movements that is intermediate by one downtrend movement termed corrective. Again, the red arrow, the AB is the corrective. Then the two blue arrows are the motives. You see, as you see, guys, also here was a inverted head and shoulders. It was reversing to the upside, broke the, ne broke the neckline most definitely. So, yes. If ever you don't know uh, anything about a head and shoulder, I did a video. So, just go check it out and everything will be fine. You know what's happening. So, the um, complete wave cycle. In the uptrend or rising market, the impulse wave moves with a predominant uptrend. The corrective wave moves against the predominant uptrend. So, the corrective is the one that tends to act like it's going a reversal to the initial market. But guess what? The trend is most likely to continue. So, the trend is a friend. If it is an uptrend, yes, you can scalp. But depending on your trade, if you're a swing trader, you just uh, enter in multi waves, enter in multi waves. You just. Uh, uh, a scalper, maybe you could just scalp it uh, on both trends. You could maybe buy an emotive, enter there by the corrective, enter the corrective, then exit by the motive, enter the motive again. You could just scalp it when it's going up and down. So you can see, guys, again, impulsive and corrective. So let's see. The complete wave cycle in the downtrend of falling market. The impulse wave moves with the predominant downtrend. The corrective wave moves against the predominant downtrend. So like I said, it's more likely the same. So you see here, inverse your head and shoulder. A reversal to the upside, which is currently what has happened on Frank, by Frank 40 people, perhaps still 8,000. That's why I'm looking to exit Frank 40 by 8,000. Is Frank 40 is now in an uptrend, so it's a free signal for me. 
if you're one of my subscribers and you don't take this, I don't know. But yeah, I'm giving you a free signal. It's going to profit you. And all you have to do is just subscribe and tell your other friends to subscribe. So this is a corrective. Uh, this is a, a reversal pattern. So wave characteristics. We can see from point D or point zero, I meant to say, hey, my vision has become blurry. From point zero, wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. It's all in a channel. If you were, if you subscribe to my videos, you would understand when I say this is a channel. It's two ways that consist of two, yes, it's both ways that consist of two trend lines, which are recognized or known as the channel so you can see now to the uptrend this is an upward channel with both waves corrective and motive so bottom less emotional oh bottom less emotional as the market is still bearish at this point no change in the trend is evident you see so this they're telling you that there's still not yet a uh, confirmation that the market is going down for real it could just do what it did repeat this same corrective wave of like maybe 10 to 15 pips then go back up to the motor wave perhaps you know as the market goes bearish mode traders continue to sell so wave two wave to sell so wave two's movements are usually sharp Starts correcting most of a one. You see, here people will just go bearish at the top of wave two, so they could just scalp that, as I was saying earlier on. So powerful uptrend and emotional trust often, most often, the longest and the strongest greatest for profit potential. As I said, by Frank Forsey, it's in the uptrend. We're looking at the uptrend uh, channel looking at the motive wave to the upside so you can see guys even the pdf is telling you that frame 40 is going to be great profitable profit taking early traders take profits others enter long and witness whip source price action guidelines of alternation so final advanced last struggle to create new high price momentum divergence Blows off and failures. You feel me? So we thought the market is selling, but we have a wave five, and until the market price, the one that's correcting, breaks the channel, breaks the lower trend line, then we could consider maybe a reversal pattern to form, then a shorter position, like Bobby Axel, uh, like Bobby Axel Rod said. Go hard on the position. Maximize it. <laughs> if you know billions, you, you know you relate. So top of wave one, three or five. Market still bullish in an uptrend. This is a correction only. Looks to buy market dips. So here you can see guys that if ever you were looking for a buy, how the market would be structured. The market would be structured in a downtrend movement but for us to buy we have to first wait for reversal confirmation so let's look at the reversal confirmation we could have so right now they can tell you i told you that we must have a reversal confirmation right now they're telling us of a bull trap traders let me see traders euro freak yeah euro freak about getting long in the market again good time to position short for killer c wave you see at the top of the at the top of the corrective wave that's why you sell to what join the market continue the trend because why there's no reversal pattern in this case bearish mode killer wave c wipes out long positions as price dips relentlessly often an extend wave but when it's over it's over and then it's time to buy you see P 
price took out all the buyers and all the sellers are in profit. So I think we'll cover it here, guys. Next time we're gonna cover the introduction to mathematical applications. Again, on the same topic, the Elite Wave Theory. Uh till next time, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this content because it's the most valuable content we could ever get. And we could ever learn because uh, this wasn't taught in school. Yes, we did economics and all that, but this wasn't taught in school. And hence, we need to learn, adapt, and capitalize on the market with the knowledge we have so that tomorrow we could be billionaires and establish Africa, you know, get self assets, you feel me, generating assets. So, yes, guys, till next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Peace. Baby and friend reporting live.